Air Matron. Welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show, guys. And thank you for joining me on another Friday night video. Today I'm out with Mrs. Blot and Little Blot. He's very camera shy, so I've got to promise to keep him off camera if I can. We're just making our way over to one of our local Subway Asani shops where we're going to get something to eat. But just to make things a little bit weird, a little bit different, I'm going to go into the toilets and I'm going to make my own Sani. Then I'm going to sit back down next to Mrs. Blot, see if I can get away with eating it on the premises. Oh yes, you better believe I am. Okay, the manding goes. I will see you when we get a bit closer. Ah. Why oh, you some Claudia Schaefer? Oh, right, right. Italian. <laughs> Ram it in your mouth. <laughs> that didn't sound right, did it? <laughs> well, that's Mrs. Blot eating a sandwich box. Little Blot doesn't want to eat on camera. I'm going to sneak off now and make my sunny. You know what I'm talking about. Right. Right guys, let's get this sandwich made. I'll show you what I've got. We'll put that top of the shit house. I've got me bone, me bread. Cheese and meats. Sweet corn, 
the old cone and the knob. All righty. Now I need some sauce, chili meal. Oh yes, you know make sense. Some soup here, paper, and wrap it up in a yeah. Okay, then, guys, let's get this wrapped up. Ding dang do for this man, Bingo. You better believe it will. I think somebody wants the toilet. Can you get in there with Right guys, so that was a successful stealthy sawney. Something a little bit weird. You know the Blood Outdoor Show guys, this is a weird channel. Alrighty, we're gonna make our way home now. When I get back, I'm gonna answer a little question and we're gonna do a world famous Waski with you. Oh yes, you better believe we are. I'm gonna leave you now with some bloopers. So apologies for the bad language guys. I will bring you Mandingo's back in two minutes. Lice. Not the best camping spot I've ever made. We're just gonna have to do for tonight. Keep spitting on the rain. It's just a matter of time before it lashes down. Anyway, might as well tell you while I'm camping. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Let's start again. Well, I'm on my second bottle. I only brought two. I've got a couple of miniature waskies, but then won't take long to drink. <laughs> so I'm just going to drink this nice and slow and enjoy it. I might as well take this time to answer a question. Somebody 
asked me this question weeks and weeks ago and I just avoided answering it because well I get loads more questions than that oh man fucking slow your words a bit more Ugh, start again <laughs> right so obviously you know behind that barrier there's the road on the flyover oh fuck off that shit <clears throat> right guys uh, it's 12.30 and I've got to be up at 5.30 so I'm going to try and get some sleep oh, fucking hell I can't even get me bastard words out piss off Right folks, I'm in the bivvy now, I need to get it zipped up, but first I'm going to say good night to you, my fan sexual, oh for fuck's sake, how shit is that? <laughs> okay then folks, time to show you my little setup for tonight. It's drizzling just a little bit. So I'm, I mean, I'm not getting soaking wet, but I've just put my seat under there, under that bush. And my kit, oh fuck off, that's fucking shit. Muppet. Well guys, the two bottles of lager, oh man here. Fucking shite. Okay then my fan sexuals. <sighs> it's getting a bit chilly now. I've just been to the tent and I've put my spare down jacket on underneath this so I'm like the Michelin man now <laughs> I've got two down jackets on and me waterproof over the top it's not raining but the air's still you know when the air's still wet so even though it's not raining you, you feel yourself and you feel wet feel wet oh my friend oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound right does it guys Fucking shit. Can I put that in? Folks, it's very late. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> I've got the hiccups. It's very late, guys. I've just enjoyed my nice hot meal. Oh, God. Oh, fuck off. Start again. Okay, then, folks. Well, folks, that's it. I'm all wrapped up. Nice and snug in my sleeping bag. I've just had a nice hot meal. Lovely steak, lice and veg. Can't beat a nice hot meal just before you get in your sleeping bag. Ready to go to sleep. It's been tremendous, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have. Oh, yeah, that's fucking shit. What am I fucking saying that for? Enjoyed it. Supposed to say that at the end of the fucking video. Eh. <laughs> I'll have to get packed away now. But what a night, guys. What a night. Absolutely loved it. The steak was lovely. The 
the drink while you that's absolutely pop start again okay then my fan sexuals i'm back home and i'm in the rusty old john claude van sexual time to answer a little question and a question i've had a few times over the last couple of weeks it's not just a question it's more like people telling us something giving us a bit of advice and that is do i know that when i'm swearing in my videos that could be ruining the growth of my channel it could be affecting the views that the videos get which will affect the growth of the channel obviously um the answer to that is no i didn't realize that i've never really looked into it to be honest um my main video that i put out on a sunday night when i'm stealth camping i don't really swear in that do i i mean once in the blue moon i might swear but it's only in joke if i'm with the lads and things like that i'm not just swearing for no reason the main time me the main time the swearing in my videos is on the Friday night video, like this one, <laughs> when you've just watched the bloopers. Yeah, there's a lot of swearing in the bloopers, but that's because it's just real. It's just, there's no bullshit in it. It's That's what I've recorded at the time, and I've edited out the main video, and I've kept them bloopers for you guys to watch. So I'm effing this, and I'm, I'm effing that. But now that I've been told, I've been informed that the swearing can affect the channel, I am going to have to toned down on it <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do that because you know when I make a mistake and I if I fluff me lines you normally just say oh effing hell you know or, or something to that effect because it's unplanned isn't it so I am going to have to cut out on it though because although it's not just about gaining subscribers and gaining views I'd be making these videos even if the channel was only getting 500 views and even if I only had 1k subs, I'd still be making these videos. But, if I know it's going to affect my channel, it, it would be stupid of me to, to carry on, just keep swearing, you know, all the time. Knowing it's going to ruin the channel. Only an idiot would do that. I know you're thinking, well, you are an idiot. <laughs> well, you're probably right. I am. Another reason I want to stop swearing as well is, I'm being told of quite a few people in the comments that they like to sit down as a family you know, the husband and wife and the kiddies, they all sit down and they watch this channel. So, you know, I, I don't want to be swearing and saying the F word and the C word or whatever it is I come out with when I know there's kids watching. I want to try and keep it kind of fa uh, family friendly. You know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. I mean, I've got my son's 14 and I've got my granddaughter, Leila. Them are always watching YouTube and TikTok and other social media. And I wouldn't want them sitting watching some fat guy <laughs> slavering on swearing all the time so yeah that's that that's the answer to that question guys i didn't know swearing would affect my channel and stop the growth of it so i'm going to try and cut down it you know what makes sense piss flaps <laughs> i'm only joking anyway this is the whiskey guys that me and little schmick will be drinking on the sunday night video bushmills Caribbean rum finish. I've had a few little cheeky ones already, as you can see, but I've also poured some out into a water bottle to keep for my collection. And when me and Mick drink this, I'll pour the the whiskey back into this for my grown collection. I might show you my collection soon, guys. You never know, because there's a few people asking to see it. Anyway, I'm going to bring you back in a few seconds, and we are going to do a world famous Waski with you. Oh yes. You better believe we are, Mandingos. Ho ho, yeah. You know what time it is, Mandingos. Waski time. And this is what we've got this time. 18 year old Johnny Walker. Blended Scotch Waski. This was kindly given to me from Robert Murchie Hume. Cheers, Robert, my man friend. You actually give me about four or five bottles. This is the last one I've got. Robert's got his own YouTube channel called Murchies Mountains. Check him out. He does some fantastic wild camping, 
up in Bonnie, Scotland, in some seriously beautiful places. Murchies Mountains. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. Check them out, guys. Anyway, let's get this popped in. The old famous Cub Dingo, Man Dingoes. Yes. And let's get the old big Rooney in it. Oh, I'm getting some spices straight away. And a strong fruitiness going on. Very sweet as well. Yeah, a lot of sweetness in that. And some smoke, but just very, very light. Very light. That, for me, that tells me it's going to be a good one, because I, I don't like it when they're too smoky. That's enough of the sniffing, guys. Let's get on with the tasting. Lice. Mm. Oh, that's nice. And silky. And smooth. On the old tongue dingo man dingoes. You better believe it is. Nice creamy feel in the mouth. Oh matron. And spices coming through now. A lovely spicy oak thing going on. Very nice indeed. Mm. Now after like the third taste there, a lovely taste of almonds. No, I love almonds. So this is fantastic for me. Mm. Like a nice fruity citrus taste. Maybe oranges. Yeah, definite citrus. I'm thinking it's oranges. I might be wrong, but that's what I think. Mm. Yeah. Lovely and creamy and smooth with a nice <laughs> oh, a nice bit of a kick to it as well. Almonds and a nice citrus orange thing going on. Very nice indeed, man dingoes. Well, 18 year old Johnny Walker. I'm going to give it a solid, hmm, let us think, I don't want to underscore it and I'm thinking I've had some, I've had some lovely whiskey soon so I don't want to overscore it, I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10 dingo man dingoes, really really nice, top quality, there we go, Johnny Walker, 18 year old version, very nice indeed, well guys, that's enough. That's the end of this little wasky review. You know what I'm talking about. This is serious. What did I say this time? This is serious making a sandwich in Subway toilets type of video. <laughs> Me mind went blank. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this little video. I've enjoyed it once again. I think Mrs. Blot has enjoyed tagging along. I'm not too sure about little Blot. He doesn't like being on camera. I've had a great time anyway, and I hope you have. Join me on Sunday, Mandingos, where I'll be out stealth camping with my little man friend, little Schmickaroony. That should be a good one. So make sure you tune in. See you then, guys. See you on Sunday. Right. Oh, air matron. Welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show, guys. And thank you for joining me on another Friday night video. Today I'm out with Mrs. Blot and Little Blot, who's very camera shy. So I've got to keep my son off camera if I can. Yep. Today... Oh, fuck off. That's shit. 